So um, when graphing the cosine, there's a couple things obviously we want to make sure that we understand is knowing the important points, right? When we started this, I always said write down, you have to know how to find all those important points. So we're going to have amplitude, period, x scale, vertical translation, and phase shift. All right? So I remember the um, amplitude was your absolute value. Well, let's do it below. Absolute value of A. So in this case, and remember, if you guys remember the general form, y equals A times cosine of Bx minus C plus D. OK? So absolute value of A, in this case, that's absolute value of negative 3, which equals 3. OK? The period, remember, was 2 pi divided by B. In this case, our B is 4. So it's 2 pi divided by 4, which equals pi halves. Right? To find the x scale, you simply take the period and divide it by 2. So that equals pi halves divided by 2. Again, if you remember, this is like where we started getting into fractions and all that stuff. Multiply by the reciprocal, you get pi over 4. Vertical translation, that means that's going to be your D, is your graph going up or down, which in this case is none. And then our phase shift, remember, we take what is set inside of our parentheses and set it equal to 0. Well, inside of our parentheses, we just have 4x. So our phase shift is going to start at 0. All right? Now, so that was the main important thing. Then the next thing I said is to understand how to graph cosine, we have to know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to graph the parent graph with us. And then we'll graph actually our graph. So the main important thing is you have to know what the cosine graph looks like. Remember, there really isn't a start or end, but on this initial period, that does start at 0. So that would be your y-axis at 0. And then remember, the cosine graph goes up 1, down to 1. And then there's four important points, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now again, remember, please, that this is just your um, standard graph that I'm going to be graphing. So cosine has a period of 2 pi. That means that would be at pi. That's pi halves. And that's 3 pi over 2. So this is what we call the parent graph. The cosine graph starts up there, period, minimum, x-intercept, maximum. Okay, and then you could also do the period in the negative direction as well. Okay, so that is what we call cosine of x. All right, but that's not what we're graphing. I just want to do this as a little bit of review because you have to know what cosine is because a lot of students that got it wrong couldn't remember cosine compared to sine. You know, how are they the same? How do they differ? Um, but now what we want to graph is this. So to do this, what I, what I, the way that we taught this was always start at your phase shift. That's going to just be our starting point, right? You can go two periods to the right, or you can do one period to the right, one period to the left. So I start at 0. Then the next thing is I set up my x scale. All right, so I'm going to kind of forget about that I have this parent graph up there. But now my x scale is going to be pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, which is pi halves, 3 pi over 4, and then pi. So I have four important points, right? Does everybody see my four important points? But the difference is the parent graph has an x scale of pi halves. This has an x scale of pi over 4. All right? And I can go and continue um, 4 pi over 4. This would be 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and this would be 8 pi over 4. So I'll do two periods to the right-hand side, even though you could do one to the right and one to the left. Um, 2 pi divided by b uh, what is that that's not fair. that's not coming out right period that's your x scale 2 pi divided by b which in this case is 4 that Huh? Oh, it's divided by 4. You're right. What am I doing? I was wondering about that. I was doing, yeah, I don't. So I'd multiply by the reciprocal. Thank you. I was like, this is not working out right. 
So that's actually pi over eight, right? Good call. So, sorry about that. Let's change this x scale. If that's pi halves, right, then I pretty much have four important points that are going to adhere. So I have pi over eight, two pi over eight, three pi over eight, and then that would be four pi over eight, which is pi halves, all right? So you can see that this scale has now been dramatically scrunched together. Um, the next thing is we notice our amplitude. Now the graph is going to go as high as 3 and as low as 3. So instead of going up to 1, I'm now going to go up to 3 and as low as, and as far down as 3. And then rather than starting up here, I see that I have this negative, which is going to be a reflection. So instead of starting up here, I'm now going to start down here. But then I still follow the same paths. The next one is an x-intercept. The next one is a maximum. Next one is an x-intercept. Next one is a minimum. Huh? No. Cosine, cosine never starts at the origin on the initial period. It always starts at, the, at its maximum. But now, the maximum has been, now it's been reflected over. So then that would be an initial period. And then if I broke that up one more time, So that's what two periods would look like. OK? So just make sure you guys write that down, that you have that.